Hello, and welcome to a exotic review. Today, I'll be going over the exotic pulse rifle Outbreak Perfected. It, for one, looks sick. Looks absolutely amazing. Love the design, Bungie, by the way. It's originally from Destiny 1 where you could get it from the Wrath of the Machine raid with a massive quest. Like I've seen tutorials on it and oh my god, it is huge. Um, in Destiny 2, you get it from going to a specific location on Titan, getting a fallen transponder and going all over the EDZ collecting nodes. Then you speak to a captain in the farm and you get to do the mission called Zero Hour. It's a timed mission. It's quite challenging, so you know, make sure you have a good fire team for it. Um, if you complete it in the time, you get the gun. There and then you get access to the heroic version of that mission. And just like Whisper of the Worm, if you get it, you get the catalyst, which is decent. Um, we'll just go over the perks and then I'll jump into I'm thinking Escalation Protocol, maybe even a Lost Sector see how it does on boss damage and all that so it's a 450 rounds per minute 36 in the magazine the range is alright um, all the other perks are or um, trait uh, what the fuck um, qualities are kind of like meh they're in the middle not anything special but what makes this gun so good is the intrinsic the corruption spreads this weapon creates seven nanite swarms on rapid hits and precision kills extended barrel increases range decreases handling speed moderately controls recoil accurized rounds Increases the range. Outlaw precision kills greatly decrease the reload time. So this reload speed is increased every time you get a headshot. And every time you get a headshot, nanites form. Um, also, more nanites that are attached to an enemy, the more damage you do to the enemy. Which means that this gun can be a DPS animal. It can genuinely just wreck bosses so easily, especially if you have a full raid team of six using this gun. Right, let's jump into either an escalation protocol or we'll just jump into the lost sector right next to it. See how it does. I'll explain what the perks do and everything and we'll see how it performs in some PVE. Should be fun. Um, I'm rocking my Warlock, Attunement of Grace, and Luna Factions, just so that I don't have to reload as much when I'm doing damage to the boss. Plus, we'll shred it even faster because I have Attunement of Grace. Should be good. Um, yeah, this is just... This is a new series I'm thinking of doing. Um, I have a few episodes planned out over the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. See how it goes. I, after the PvE segment, I might jump into like a match of PvP, even though I'm so bad at it, and see how I do. fairly decent as soon as I load in which is probably gonna take a while come on what's happening here there we go okay let's see if I can get some of them swarms on the go no escalation protocol nobody's nearby I'll we'll just see how I can do. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I 
So if now might swarm, I'll kill that. It's great, really. Okay, you get the idea. Um, somebody just spawned in, so I'm going to head over to the last sector. Or is that going to be a pain in the neck? in here. Um, the boss in here will be easier to shred anyway. But it is yellow bar so it's a major. So it is a good representation. Well this gun can kill. Uh, or my aim is totally shocking and I don't kill anything. There we go. Then I get that from the nanites. Yeah, I'm just down. <laughs> okay, my nanites killed the scion. See the nanites that attack to the rapid hits? Yeah. Just kind of easy for me to call them. Outlaw increases the reload speed. Reload speed. The actual mission for this gun is it's quite challenging, but it is actually quite fun. All the enemies are shielded, so you need to make sure your fire team has a cover of all of the elements. Just so that you can break those shields really easily. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It spawned because I kept getting rapid hits on him. It's a very cool gun, it sounds really good as well. And the sights. That, like, SIVA effect. Very crispy, very crispy gun. Nanites, after my rapid hits, they attach to him and I do more damage because the more nanites they're on him. Oh, he's down. That easy. And let me just remind you this is a kinetic weapon. It's not really what people. Kinetic weapons aren't normally used for DPS type things. So. <laughs> So for this to be a primary and do that much damage that quickly, it's crazy. Especially if your entire raid team has it. So uh, we'll just jump into some Crucible. You saw that it did pretty well in PvE, so we'll jump into Quick Play and see how it performs there. Or how I perform because I am not the best at PvP, I must say so myself. Um, yeah, I played a game earlier today and it, it was alright. I, <laughs> I think my KD was like 1.13. Not the best. But then again, not the worst I've ever had. So, yeah. 
think it passed the PVE test. Just see how it does in PvP. It's, oh, it looks so good as well. Look at it. Any D1 veterans that remember the whole SIVA, Rise of Iron thing. It just brings back so many memories. In my opinion, the, like, the ornaments you can get for this, you have to pay money for, um, but I can't be bothered. But they don't look too great. I prefer this over all of them. But I know why Bungie sell ornaments for actual money. Like, they released some information about the Whisper of the Worm ornaments and how they paid for the production of Zero Hour, the mission to get this gun and this gun. So it's good to know that the money we spend on the game isn't just going to the pockets of the devs and the dev team. Oh, let's see who's who's all what classes they're rocking, what they're wa rocking in general. Gemini Jester. Eh, not a great exotic to be honest. Um Transverse Steps. Gemini Flame. Sorry, he's a shotgun user. I suppose it's pretty decent. Titan. Oh, there's a Titan not using one eyed mask. Wow, he's working on his solstice as well. You have one more week, mate. Make sure you do that. He's using the Doomfang Pauldron and a solar subclass. That makes sense. Because that's to do with your void subclass, you... Not complaining. Titan Exo. Not a one-eyed mask either. Huh. Don't actually know if we're getting any... No? Okay. This is... Surprising. No. Hmm. Has no nope, right, okay. There's our first one eyed mask. Our first one eyed mask. I thought I'd seen more of them because well, quite frankly it's broken. Um <laughs> Bungie, you need to get on that. This guy's got the full majestic set. Of course he does. Off our heart. Clash. Clash. Okay. Oh. Nothing At least the one-eyed mask is on our team. And your weapon. Fight. I'm fine with that. Let's just try and um, <laughs> try and um, be good at the game. Of course. That pretty much sets the tone for this entire match. It's gonna be, be me almost killing people and then dying. I love my life. Peek, peek. Yep, okay, well, okay cool. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Not salty at what's happening right now. I don't think the gun's bad. I think I'm bad. Your 
enemy can't kill if they're dead. I got a double kill. It's my claim to fame. A double kill. And I was killed by truth. See, the guns are pretty stable. And like there's no recoil on it much, like other than when you're burst by it, which is you know, the yeah. Well I missed that, didn't I? I'm just absolutely amazing at this game. Shut the enemy down. Your enemy can't kill uh. if they're dead. <laughs> okay, Graham, this is a review of the outbreak, not the bad omens. Stop using your heavy. Got it. Your opponents are pulling away. Drag them back. I get these. Yeah, I got an assist on that guy. Well, obviously it wouldn't be that hard because I threw down my grenade. Of course you're gonna get an assist if you throw down a grenade. Okay. I'm just bad at aiming. I'm bad at the game in general. Yes, aim above his head. That's gonna kill him. Or her. Not, not assuming here. Not assuming. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yep. I'm fine with that. Totally, completely fine. Not toxic. I could have run away from that. I genuinely think we're gonna get mushed these. I just spawned. I just... That's how broken. How broken is Fist of Havoc right now? How broken. I aim? No, I can't aim. I should have killed him. I should. <laughs> I should have killed him. Okay. And I'm dead. So unbelievably bad at Christmas. Our whole team was dead at the same time. I just how oh, amazing this game going. Hmm. 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 Free top. I can't aim for shit. What's wrong with me? This game is. <laughs> oh, no. So bad. I'm actually trash. And am I going to get a kill with this? I do not know. I do not think so. I didn't actually get a kill with, with my super, which is just amazing. Oh, come on. Come on.
What the hell? Come on. Assist again. Finally, that took way too long. An actual kill with a gun? What? New me? Three minutes remaining. That's gonna be a no. <laughs> and get out of there. It's just right there. With a weapon. I thought that guy was on my team. If I'm being honest. Oh look, we lost. That's a surprise. Oh, no, I'm not letting you guys see my... Not this time. See my thing. Fight It'll be again horrible. Whenever you want. Anywho. This gun... It's good. It is good. I highly recommend getting it if you don't already. Um, I'm just bad at the game, apparently. BVP is not my, not my forte. But yeah, get the gun if you don't. And subscribe if you want more. More exotic reviews on the way at some point in the near future. Peace.